So we are here at uh, Floyd's home. Uh, this is one of Tom's friends, good friends. He's been in this area for all, pretty much all of your life, I would say. Well, I was born here in Inglewood. He was born here, so we can't find anybody that has more heritage in this area than he does. And he does have some stories that he's heard, locations of possible treasures, and uh, so we're, he's going to tell us what he knows. So um, start with any one of your stories, and we'll go from there. Well, let's start. Uh, let's start. Uh, let's start with Indian Mound here in Inglewood, Mound Indian Mound Park. Now they, uh, I don't know of any treasure that there's that there's been a lot of artifacts found, like mm -hmm. the, the, the human bones and stuff like that. Now, and my dad told me years ago when they were young and first moved here, they used to go and put beads down in the in the mound so that people, when they were researching, they could find those beads and really thought they found something. What type of bead? Just necklace beads and stuff like that. Anything to throw them off. Hmm. But the most interesting thing that I've had anything to do with uh, was Boggison's Hole. Now, I was telling you that about the, the mound is huge. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess at least five acres, maybe bigger. Wow. And you, go, you need to go down there and really walk that through. Uh, you can get into it by going, I wish I could remember the name of these cuts, but then you go in there and you go, there's an island, a little island here, an island, and you go in, and they had built a, a, gra a shell ro a trail mm -hmm. up to the mounds. So it's closer to the water than it is to land. Yes. Yeah, because we've been we, we go off the road and we walk probably a good mile just to get to Bogus Hole. So it's actually another two or three two miles probably go carrying south. an extra seventy pounds of weight. Oh yeah, this is nice. Oh oh, it smells so good. Oh, Mike totally hooked us up. That's just thing. happened in the last 10 years, or 15, with Boggus's Hole. It used to be wide open. We all could drive down there, drive on the flats. Nobody yeah. said a word. But when, Well, since you're on Boggus Hole, we, we had seen a treasure map that where Boggus Hole actually sat, to the right we were supposed to, and to the left, there were supposed to be treasures. Do you know any shell mounts there? No, no shell mounts, but let me tell you, Boggus's Hole is... Would you say five, ten acres? Probably. Oblong. Mm -hmm. And on the southeast quadrant, the Indians scooped that all out with their, and, and to get, and they made a fishing weir out of it. That's what Dr. Calvin told me. Mm -hmm. And what they had nets, people didn't believe they had nets, but they had nets they made out of uh, cabbage, uh, fur, ferns, wire mm -hmm. on a cabbage palm. They'd make nets. And they, they put that hole on the southeast quadrant. Mm -hmm. They had built a whole ridge up. And when you start digging in there, you find busted, uh, like busted clay plate, plates and stuff. Because if mm -hmm. it busted, they just went and got another one and kept scooping and kept scooping. And that's how they apparently fed themselves. Wow. Now, if you go to the south side of Boggison's Hole, you can walk right to Big Mound. It's about, uh, I would say, less than a half a mile, maybe two or three, four hundred yards. It's been a long time since I walked out there. Mm -hmm. But I was also telling you about the time the, they, they had the guys there with the treasure, and they were serious about it because they had crow's nest up in the trees. If anybody started up there, and uh, so they could sound the alarm, but they walked a track hoe, digger, all the way from... Seven seven one. Yeah. Where that road is? Yeah, yeah Road. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One, All the way yeah. into that that mound. I, probably by the dead of night because they didn't want everybody knowing what they're doing. Yeah. And uh, and dug all the way from the top to the bottom, at, at least at least a hundred or maybe hundred and fifty feet. And and it was so interesting when I was there with Dr. Calvin. He was showing me this and show because he he knew that stuff. I didn't I didn't know what I was looking at. I was looking at a pile of shells, but he uh, he said, "Look here." They left the mound about 10, 10 years. They left it. I said, "How do you know?" That? He said, "Well, because of the dirt here," and then they came back. So they used that area, and uh, I was telling you about that one pit somebody dug. It was about I would say less than four foot in diameter, mm -hmm. and at least 
15, I'd say 15 feet deep. So who, whoever, they, they certainly thought they had found something there, and I, I wouldn't doubt it at all, because that mound has to have been there for years and years and years. Well, what years? What what year was this? It had to have been 30, 35 years ago. Okay. Now, do you know of anything, was anything ever found out there? I never heard of anything being found, but I know they were very, very protective of that, that dig. So, that's the same dig. That the men in Macabo was talking about, they told the truckload of stuff out of there. Yeah. Now, hmm. right, but what, I mean, what treasure would be there? Is it just Indian stuff that Indian have? Well, the only treasure that I've heard of and I, and, uh, is, you know, Jose Gaspar. Mm -hmm. Somebody says that's fictitious. Right. I doubt it. Well, why would he have buried underneath the Shell Mound? Those, those were Indians that did the Shell Mounds. Well, because one reason, they were sacred and they were protected by the Indians. Uh, you you you'd have to slip in there, and, and I, I think these. So this was a busy place, and I was going to tell you another thing that Marka that Marina there by the hardware store, as you're going out of, on the old Inglewood Road. Mm -hmm. uh, that fellow that I was telling you about, Wilkinson was his name. Wilkinson. He was hunting treasure, too, and he had some a map. And he went down on that point, mm -hmm. of course there's houses there now, he went down there on that point and found a cabbage palm that had showed the marks that that map had shown on it. Hmm. Now whatever come of that, I don't know. Oh. Tell us, um, I know you were saying earlier about your wife's family. Yeah, the Downings come from uh, up north Florida <laughs> years ago and they come here looking for the treasure. A lot of families did it at, back there in those days because it was a, that was a big thing here, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but they weren't successful as far as finding the treasure. They loved it here, so they settled right here. What year was that? Or what oh my gosh, <laughs> I would say uh, probably in the early 1900s. Come on, we need to get over there. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's pretty interesting because we knew that there was something at Bogus Hole. We, didn't, we, we knew that obviously there was Indian shell mounds, but we knew that there was supposed to be a treasure around Bogus Hole. And we've gone out there twice already. I mean, it was treacherous, I mean, horrible. But we never go. We never went by water. We always walked it. Yeah. Well, so maybe now that we know the information about going by water is a lot quicker, especially to get to the, to the mound. But I like to go back to Bogus Hole because there was a treasure to the right and to the western one on the east side of the Bogus Hole. On the east side, we found a circle, which looks almost like a shell mount, but it's not. And when I metal detected, I was getting all kinds of hits there. We just didn't bring a shovel because it was a one-mile hike, enough as it was. We just wanted to research and see if we could find anything out there. But we never dug it, but there might be something there. And if nobody's ever checked, everybody's just checked the shell mounts. They never bothered checking these two locations in Mexico. So is there any other treasures you know of locally? Around I don't here know or? much about the treasures because uh, I know that everybody and his brother at one time had come down here to try to try, lo try to locate Jose Gaspar's treasure. Mm -hmm. But I have to believe it's here. 